Hello and welcome to episode two of Up the Mariners. <laughs> Yes, welcome back to episode two of Up the Mariners. I'm Wes, and in this episode, we'll be taking on Crew and Mansfield, both in the Sky Bet League Two. Now, since you were last with us, we have played a couple of games. Not been the best of starts to the season. We still haven't won a game. We are knocked out of the Carabao Cup, and we currently sit 24th in League Two. Our latest defeat was a 5-0 away win against Sunderland under-23s in the Checker Trade Mickey Mouse Cup. We also lost to Wickham at home 2-1, Stevenage away from home 4-2 and Coventry at home 1-0. We also lost 2-1 in extra time against Preston in the Carabao Cup first round. Wasn't too disappointed about that defeat because Cups really aren't our priority in this series at the moment uh, we just want to try and get into the next level which is League One Uh, at the moment things not going too well obviously we still haven't won a game so we're on no points Uh, and hopefully we will get a better result against Crewe and Mansfield we are actually favourites for the Crewe game despite the fact that we haven't won a game yet we just haven't been scoring goals which is the problem we're on a minus five goal difference so, yeah, hopefully we can turn things around. We're only one point off of being out of the relegation zone, so a win would see us out of the relegation zone. If we can get a mid-table finish, I'll be happy this season just to see us through that first season and then we can try and push on next season and build a whole new squad in the positions in the formation that I want to play and that way we can... Uh, not start from scratch, but build on what we had. Okay, and since you've been gone, we've had some transfers. We have brought in quite a few free and loan players since you were with us. We've brought in Will Hayhurst. He was on trial with us during the first episode. We managed to sign him. He's a left winger, 23 years old, Irish, youth international. He's been capped three times at under-21 level. We got him in on a free transfer. He's got a two and a half star current ability and a three and a half star potential ability. He's a winger. So he's got a bit, he's not very pacey, but he's, he's young. He can play on both wings. So he'll be good as a backup for uh, Hayward or what do we play on the left wing? Walford. That was it. Yeah. He'll be back up for Walford. We've brought in Ollie Harfield from Bournemouth on loan. He's a left back. I said we need a few left backs. He's 19 years old, English. He's got three star current ability, five star potential ability. He's a defensive full back or a wing back. Can play left back, which is good. So we have a backup for Dixon, or potentially someone who can play instead of Dixon and have Dixon as the backup. Because according to my assistant, he is better than Dixon. So maybe Harfield will eventually take over. We brought in Stuckman on a free transfer. He is a goalkeeper. We brought him in because he is better than James McEwen. He is our best goalkeeper. He's got three and a half star current ability and potential ability. He's 36 year old German international. Uh, not been capped for Germany, obviously. But he is better all round than McEwen. So that was why we brought him in. We brought in Nana Owusu. He's currently playing in our under 23s. He's a 21 Ghanaian player who can play left or right back or left or right wing. So he's a bit of a utility player for us. He's only got a one-star current ability and a three-star potential ability. We brought him in as one for the future, really, 
see if we can make him develop. We've got him in the under 23s, and that's where he'll stay for the time being, unless we have any injury crisis. We've brought in Matt Richards, a 32 year old English midfielder, central midfielder, because we needed to bulk out the central midfield. He's not very good, according to my assistants, but he will do as backup. He only plays as a central midfielder. It, we, it was a bit of a desperation signing, really, and he was free. So we brought in quite... An, uh, the only player we've actually paid any money for so far is Stuart Carswell. Brought him in. He's a 23-year-old Scottish midfielder. We paid £23,500 for him from Dunfermline. I believe it was Dunfermline. It, oh, sorry, Dumbarton in the Scottish Championship. And he instantly came in and he is one of our best... Not the best, but he's one of our better midfielders. He's the best we've got available to us at the moment. And then we got Jack Rolls in from Spurs on loan. Another midfielder. Three-star current ability, five-star potential ability. 18-year-old Cypriot player with an under-21 cap for Cyprus. And then Sadu... Is it Dalo? Dilo? Another central midfielder uh, brought in for on loan from Man City. Three star current ability, five star potential ability. Again, we're just padding out the midfield, just making up the numbers, making sure we've got plenty of players as we go forward because we were struggling a bit for fitness at the start of the season because we couldn't rotate the squad. Harry Clifton's gone out on loan to Billericay as well, by the way. He was never going to really feature for us anyway. So we might as well send him out on loan, get him a bit of first team experience. So yeah, on to the game against Crew. I thought we were at match day, turns out we weren't, so I will I must remember to make sure I save it on match day. So we don't have to go through all these loading screens. And then I don't have to do so much editing either. Right, we're going with a four four two. And our Starting 11 today are Stuckman in goal with Davis, Collins, Clark and Dixon at the back with a midfield of Richards and Carswell with Rose and Walford on the wings and Hooper and Cardwell up front. So on the bench we've got McEwen, Harfield, Dembele, Jamil Matt, Reese Hall, Robinson, uh, sorry, Reese Hall, Johnson, Osborne and Hayhurst. Playing on a standard mentality, flexible team shape with no team instructions. Okay, so we're hoping to get a win here, get us a bit further up the table, out of the relegation zone. Crew are currently in 13th. So we are still early on in the season. It's just five games without a win and people will start calling for my head. And I don't want to end this series two episodes in. So we, we do need to start winning. I'm a little bit concerned though that the fact that with this change of formation, our only the only player of ours that scored more than one goal this season is on the bench. Dembele scored three goals for us so far this season and he's he's sat on the bench. But something needed to change to bring the best out of the players that I've got and the players that I've brought in. So Unfortunately, Dembele will probably get his chance. I mean, he's a winger, so we, we, he may come on for Rose. It's just he doesn't. He plays better as an advanced winger rather than a wide midfielder. So he doesn't really fit into the four four two. But saying that, if he does, if we do need a goal, we might bring him on. We've gone in at half time nil nil. No highlights in the first half. But it, we're not losing, main thing, at the moment. So we'll, we'll carry on. We are really struggling for fitness. I will change the tactics slightly. And I will put us on a control mentality. Try and get a bit further forward. And I will turn on the much more closing down. And a bit higher tempo. Try and hit the early crosses as well. So on with the second half. Oh, we've got a highlight finally. We had a corner. Rose plays it into Carswell. Carswell shoots 
just wide. That was unlucky. That was a, a good chance for us. No one apart from Clark is having a very good game at the moment. Clark's on a 7.3. Everybody else is languishing in the sixes. Dixon wins the ball middle of the field. Plays it up to Cardwell. Cardwell running down the ring. Crosses it into Hooper. Hooper's hit the post by the looks of it. Or the crossbar. That was unlucky. I think going on control has uh, helped us a bit. We've had six shots, two on target. We've got the just edging possession here on 54% at the moment. I think I'm going to make a change because I think we need to freshen things up a bit. Carswell is knackered, so... But have we got another... We haven't got another central midfielder on the bench. Uh, if I remember rightly, Hall Johnson can play central midfield. Not very well, but he can play central midfield. We'll play him as a ball-winning midfielder on defend. Davis not having the best of games, and Hall Johnson is our other right-back, so that's not good. We will also bring on... We'll bring on Jamil Matt as our target man to replace Hooper, because Hooper's not having the best of games. So this will be Matt's debut for us. Hopefully he might be able to grab himself a goal. We'll keep it on control for now. But as things go on, if we, it's still at 0-0, I will go attacking. But I don't want to make the mistake of conceding. We're 70 minutes in. Mitch Rose is injured. So it looks like we're going to be bringing Dembele on anyway. But we will play him a bit further up. We'll push Wolford up further as well. Hopefully this won't be our own. But as things stand, we do still sit in uh, 24th. So I am going to put us on attacking. And I'm going to put us on fluid team shape. Just see if we can steal a winner. We've got a highlight here. Matt plays it back to Hall Johnson. Plays it up to Wolford. Wolford shoots straight at the keeper. I'm going to go overload. We need a win. Dembele running down the wing, plays it into Matt, but it was a poor pass. And now crew are going to break on us, and we have conceded. It seems to happen every time I go on overload, we concede a goal. doesn't matter what series I'm in. I made this mistake in the last episode of Emulating the Master, where we were drawing one all with Sheffield Wednesday, and we conceded four goals in the last ten minutes. We're now 1-0 down. And, okay, we're 2-0 down. Yeah, overload doesn't work. I've decided overload doesn't work. We're now 2-0 down in the last minute of the game. With five minutes of stoppage time, Matt plays the ball through to Cardwell. Cardwell loses out far too easily. Dixon wins the ball back though. Matt plays it again through to Cardwell. Cardwell plays it to Wolford. Wolford across to Richards and Richards has scored. Right, so overload doesn't work, but attacking does. So, yeah, we won't use it overload ever again. We'll stay on attacking. And hopefully, we've got three minutes left. We might be able to grab an equaliser. We need to win the ball back. Crew in possession. They're knocking it around. Collins heads out. Come on, we need an equaliser. Someone just get the ball. That's it, I think that's going to be it. We're a minute over our allotted time anyway. Yeah, that's it, it's all over. 2-1. Right, so, take note. Overload doesn't work. <laughs> right, we'll be back for the next game against Mansfield. Hopefully we can get that all-important first win of the season. So we've gone with Stuckman in goal, Hall Johnson, Collins, Clark and Harfield at the back. A central midfield of Richards and Clements. Dembele and Wolford on the wings and Jones playing in just behind Cardwell. On the bench we've gone for McEwen, Dixon, Diallo, Matt, Davis, Rolls and Hayhurst. We are going with an attacking mentality this time with a few team instructions similar to the ones we were playing before when we was 
And we got the goal back against Crew. Okay, Mansfield are lining up in a 4-4-2, so hopefully we should be able to outnumber them in midfield and make that pay. And off we go. We, we really need to get that first win of the season. I've got everybody playing in their preferred positions, In uh, although the formation's not too uh, familiar to them. Dembele plays it forward, trying to find Car uh, Cardwell, but couldn't. Good header from Collins there. Plays it to Clements, who plays it forward to Cardwell, but again, couldn't find him. And Mansfield have just had a shot way over the bar. It's a good start. At least we're getting some highlights in this game. Hopefully a few more for us this time around. Rose has just scored for Mansfield, so we're 1-0 down. We're not favourites for this match. I will hasten to add. We uh, we are struggling. Really, really struggling. They just passed it for us like we weren't even there. I mean, goalkeeper's already been booked. That's not a good sign. I mean, Mansfield are in seventh. They're, they're pushing for a playoff place. So, we weren't supposed to win this game. But it would be nice to at least compete. Corner headed straight over by Collins. Uh, good interception there from... Uh, I think that was Collins. Good save there from Stuckman. And another one. Can he play it forward? No, that's the end of the highlight. So, halfway through the first half, we've had three shots, none on target. They're all over us, really. That's all I can say. They are all over us. As they should be. They're, they're a better team than us. They're higher in the league. We still haven't won a game. They are in ninth. So they're pushing for playoffs. They're only a point away from the playoffs. And we are languishing right down at the bottom. Maybe I shouldn't have gone attacking. Maybe I should have gone counter. Maybe I will do that for the second half. But it's pointless going on counter when we're already 1-0 down. So we'll just go out the same way we are. Wolford and Cardwell have an awful game. Up front there. Maybe Cardwell can't play up front on his own. We're 2-0 down. I knew this was going to be difficult. I, I knew it was going to be a difficult task to even... Well, I knew it was going to be difficult to get them up to the Premier League. I didn't realise it was going to be this difficult to get a win. I don't normally struggle this much. I don't think I've ever gone six games at the beginning of the season without a win ever in any football manager game we just can't string two passes together Collins is having an awful game Wolford's coming off Wolford's coming off for Hayhurst Hayhurst can play there so we'll give him a chance Cardwell can come off for I don't really want to play Jamil Matt up front on his own as a target man. Can he play as a poacher? No, he really can't. So we will. We'll have to leave him on. We've got Jones playing as a shadow striker. Should we? Can we play a strikerless formation? We drop Cardwell back here. Attack advanced playmaker. Or bring. I don't know. I really don't know what to do. Uh, no, we'll put him back up there. I'm gonna. Put Jones offset them slightly because they might be getting in each other's way there. So that might have an effect. Maybe bring Cardwell across this way. And have him playing as an advanced forward rather than a poacher. That might help. I'm going to bring on Jack Rolls in the place of Clements, but I'm not going to play him as a deep line playmaker. I'm going to play him as an advanced playmaker on attack. But I'm going to swap him with Richards so that they don't get so that Rolls doesn't get in the way of Jones because Jones is having a decent game on seven. 
at point one and Richard's having an okay game, which is good because the the uh, press have been getting on at me about him not having a good start, and it's, so it's nice to see him playing well. We'll confirm those changes. We'll stay on attacking because what have we really got to lose? We're already losing two nil. We're already bottom of the league, so what's the point? I'd rather lose five nil and try and score than not have a shot and only lose one nil or lose two nil. Finally a highlight. It's just a lumped ball over the top for and we're three nil down. <laughs> what have I got to do to get a win? They just lumped the ball forward and completely took out our entire defence. Never, ever had this much of a poor performance, to a poor start to a season as I have done now in this save. Even with Swansea, in emulating the master, I had a better start than this. If anybody's got any suggestions on what I can do to try and uh, change things, then please... Answers on a postcard, or better still, just leave a comment. So we lost that one 3 now. Yeah. I don't really know what to say about that. We were awful. They were they were not awful. They, they scored three goals. And we've gone six games at the start of the season without a win. No points. Nil point. We will come back. Where will we come back? Why do they go and scout in what schedule? We've got Accrington Stanley next. Who are they? Um, right, we've got Lincoln soon. So, yeah, we're definitely going to be playing that one. So I'll play the next four games behind the scenes and we'll come back for the Lincoln game and the Doncaster Checker Trade Nonsense Cup. Well, if you <laughs> if, if you enjoyed that... I certainly didn't, but uh, please get a big thumbs up anyway, and subscribe for more Football Manager 18 content. Thank you very much for watching. Everybody!